Welcome back to more Siberia 2. Now up here in the monastery, dressed up as one of the monks. Kate fits right in with her big ass. Can't run. Monks don't run. Hello? Anybody there? Here! Over here, the magic mirror! Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name is Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. <laughs> A.K.A. Black Ninja Monk. Excuse me. But I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very troubling. Please leave quickly. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that- We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He felt... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child and resign ourselves to the call of time. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our faith, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign. From the Almighty, or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. My friend is named Hans Varlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl. You're like Ben Kenobi. I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. It's our man. He's got something. Canton? I can barely hear you. Mr. Martin. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out of Arrowbad last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. 
I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting, uh, how do you say, differently. Got some guys spying on me? Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. No, it just isn't possible. Hans Farlberg can't fail. Not like that. He's dreamed of reaching Siberia. It's just not fair. Men run after Chimera their whole lives, my child. But God detests dreamers and their utopian pies in the sky. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil. And you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. I don't know about that. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <laughs> Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilen, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilen is where you were born. Here, we're in Romansburg. Valadilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei, find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei, he has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. Look at this little fat shit. Who is Alexei? An old monk, a friend. He knows about you call medicine. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei? He can treat me. Hans, 
do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass. <laughs> it seems you rate the Yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukuls know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. So you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. Hmm. This guy. Hey, you like to eavesdrop? Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. <laughs> And what news do you bring, my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis Homo Mendax. <laughs> Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> Moore's Ultima Ratio. <laughs> okay. Alexei was a man of God and my friend. He lived away from the monastery for many years among the strange Yoko people. This is the great mammoths and something and divine to them. Monk far from it to God long enough. He takes many different forms in the imaginations of men. This might help you the key. Light of the mammoths. I, maybe. We got the scroll in a stained glass, glass mammoth. Scoop up this brush. Whoa. It's like a hellbird. It's actually just a candle rod. And we have... It looks to be like a clock almost. Time to refill my beer and figure out this puzzle. So we need to light the candles in order here. The best way to solve this puzzle is to think of the cross as pointing to 12 o'clock up here. So this will be 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But cross is kind of dear, not exactly direct. But anyways, you want to start at 3 o'clock. So 
would be 8 o'clock. Nine o'clock. And finally, you want to do midnight or 12 o'clock. After you tilt the light from the bottom left, top and right, you get the eyeball there, which we just ran past. The eye of the mammoth reveals a bookcase. Some Indiana Jones shit right here. Alexei Tukhanov. So you get the book of Alexei Tukhanov who talks about the yokels. It's quite long. We're not going to read it. But if you want to go through the game of Siberia and read it, by all means do so. Just a little longer than most documentation. those Let's 
Go check out this uh, weirwood tree over here. Pray to the old gods. Oh, it's a cemetery. Fantastic. What on earth is... What on earth is... Well, it's Alexei's toe to Gov's gravestone, obviously. Cut the brambles away. Sanctus Libre Abscondo Me Stentia. Got some herbs and brambles. Open the herbs and uh, brambles in the bucket. I need something else. Open this tube here. Close that up. candle easy peasy Cheese and dry bread. Yummy as fuck. Pretty sure I'm missing something. I need to go back to the library. I miss grabbing something. No point doing that. Yeah, yeah yo, yep. definitely needed that.
Let's try this again. Okay, now we put the Yoko Relic down. Our candle. Light of the Mammoth. Your right hands. Get the How's fuck it going? out of here. Kate. Okay. Yes. What am I doing here? <sighs> it's a long story. Are we going yet? Can you walk? <sighs> I'd like to, but <sighs> Don't move, Hans. I'm going to find a way to get us out of here. Grab this key real quick. Hmm, it's kind of steep. Oh. <sighs> this casket gives me the creeps. <sighs> this casket gives me the creeps. Hey, that's what you gotta do though sometimes. Hmm, it's kind of steep. Whiling away those celibate hours. <sighs> this casket give. <sighs> okay.
How's it going? Kate. Are we Can you walk? Hmm? Don't move, Hans. How's it going? Kate. Uh, Can you walk? Hmm? Don't move. Um, that was the way to get us out of here. Now I'm all kinds of confused. Pretty sure we have to take that coffin out of here. Yeah, we gotta go here first, you know. Now he's not in the way. Dip to do. been a long time since I played these trying not to have to resort to the old wikis but it's been a long time but I think now that we got rid of him this should work and that's a that's a go We're gonna be cool running soon, man. Cool runnings. So apparently these fucking monks are a little crazy. Walk. Let's go. Yes, yeah, let's go. Like fucking now. Grab that apple and that cheese. No, do not go. <gasps> no, you must stay. Crazy son. Stop them. Definitely leave it out, you're being a douche. <laughs> that was some ride, huh, Han? Yes, it was real fun, Kate Walker. Alright, see you soon folks, thanks for watching.